So Gaffey, you've had a couple of days now to re reflect on the um, on the game at Oxford. Uh, what did you make of the result and, and more importantly, uh, our performance? Uh, well, it's always you, know, you never go home happy when you've when you've got beat in a game. Um, but uh, there were some positives that come out of it. I know sometimes when people see a result like that, they think, "How can you get any positives out of it?" But um, we created a, with some good play a lot of opportunities. Of course, we made a couple of mistakes that led to led to goals. Um, it's good to get them done now. We didn't lose any points. But um, some of them impressed, uh, especially it was good to see the new ones and what they had and what we felt they, they could give us. Um, obviously the important pre-season friendlies come when you pick what you class as your first team um, when we play Bristol City and Peterborough. Up until then it's just game time, you know, it, it's not a lot of organisation to be done and all that, it's just getting game time. Um, and some impressed and some didn't. And uh, obviously all those that impressed have been told and and all those that didn't impress have been told. So, uh, but there's a good spirit amongst the lads and I saw lots of our game in that, in that game without an end product. If there'd have been an end product, to some of the moves and some of the play, then uh, it would have been uh, good. But you know, you, you can't get over the top either way, whether you lose or win in the first game ten days into your pre-season. As you mentioned, the new players, you saw six of the seven new signings. Must be nice after all the hard work of the summer to actually see them in the championship. Yes, it is. Um, and that was why I was a bit disappointed that you didn't win, because you want them to you know, uh, impress and for the team to gain confidence in everybody. But I think the new lads especially um, showed what they what they could do. Uh, they've certainly shown it in training. So I think as far as the, the lads who are already here are concerned, then they've seen that they've got some clever and quality teammates to, to join them. And that, uh, that's always good when, when the ones that you've already got here feel that way. It's nice when one new player sets up another new player for the for the goal. <laughs> yeah, well, it was, and they and they both did very well. And I think even on that day, um, people would have seen their strengths, and uh, their strengths will only get better as they get fitter, stronger, and more used to you know what what they're doing. But both of them, because they're good footballers, Jarrell and Mo. Um, have been have been doing the job well and they they fitted in very very well. They're both two competent lads as well, so they're not going to be shrinking violets. Um, so no, that, that was there was two good performances on the day. The one new player we haven't seen yet is, is Kevin Dawson. And um, what's the update on him? Are we likely to see him tomorrow at Bishop's Cleeve? Yeah, we just I mean again we're only 10, 12 days into pre season and Kev had a, a knock at the end of the season last year that he played forty odd games for Yeovil um, and he, he didn't play in a couple of the light, later games because of this knee and the medical people told him that he, he had to rest it in the summer so of course in resting it in the summer he was a little bit behind everyone else so we've had to uh, he trained on a couple of occasions and just slightly strained his thigh so it was only a slight strain but we're just taking precautions and making sure we we're looking after him in a controlled environment rather than out there doing all the sort of football work and that. I know Kev, he, he hasn't, I know exactly what he does and what, so I've not necessarily got to see his game. But uh, you know, he's getting a little bit frustrated now, he needs to get back. And I think, I think we've earmarked him for one of the Bath or Western Supermare games to, uh, to be totally ready. And just finally, for the fans coming tomorrow to Bishop's Cleave, what can they expect to see from the team sheet? Sim similar to Tuesday, will they have everyone sort of getting a game? Yeah, I mean, you know, we got into a bit of a kerfuffle, didn't we, when we had the first talk about who was playing 65 and 45, and, and in the end the referee scuppered that anyway because he said you couldn't bring players back on to the pitch, which I was needing to do, so that nobody had to play 90 minutes. But unfortunately, because he told us just before kick-off, that nobody could come back on, um, <clears throat> then uh, 
it messed us up and some players had to play 90. <clears throat> so those players will probably only play half an hour maybe uh, at Bishop Cleave, people like Pelly, Stoz, uh, Sellers. Um, but they, you know, they'll see, if people come to the game, they will see everybody uh, perform at some stage and it'll be all our, all our uh, first team squad. Brilliant, cheers, Gaffer. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.